<laughs> one other name to bring up before we move on. Johnny Yuma, we talked about him before. And again, he's a channel favorite. Great guy. Mm-hmm. He's been super cool to me. And I appreciate that because, you know, real side story. Sal Renard was the first guy who agreed to do an interview. And oh. I very much appreciated him doing it because if he didn't, who knows if anybody else would have said yes. And right. Yuma was another guy who early on, and he's done a bunch. Great guy. What has your experience been with him? And especially back then, you know, when he was still kind of green, because I know like he was talking about kind of having a reputation with some people. What did you think of him at that time? And what was it like working with him? So I didn't meet Yuma until I was able to start getting booked in San Diego. Now, the thing about Andy, uh, whoever that is, whoops. Uh, edit <laughs> I think that. he might have slipped with that once or twice in his interview, too. Good. I'm glad it happened. Then. I did it on purpose. <laughs> Unless you didn't do it to yourself, in which case I am deeply apologetic, and that's not your actual name. Uh, <laughs> but Yuma, I had it, uh, Yuma, yeah, in person. So all I had to go on, which I know he mentioned, uh, was his internet persona. And I hated him so <laughs> much. I think I, I think we've had this talk. If not, this is going to be weird if he ever watches this. Uh, but I hate it. I think I've told him, though. I hated him for a long time. Uh, and then I met him, and I was like, oh, yeah. Fuck, okay. Um not what you thought. <laughs> yeah, it was it was like, oh. I, I I actually think he's really funny. And I agree with a lot of what he's saying. Probably could have said a lot of it. Like it eventually becomes like, oh, yeah, you probably just could have said this different, and I probably would have been way more like on board, <laughs> you know, to be, to begin with. But uh yeah, no, when I met him, I felt we got along pretty well, pretty quick. Uh, I kicked the life out of him. <laughs> I think the first time uh, we ever worked through a body kick and I had my positioning wrong and I just towed him like oh. right between the, like, you know where your sternum ends? You know that place you can push in where all your air will go away? <laughs> yeah. The worst I, possible spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. at least one in that the, area. I said one of the worst kicks I've ever thrown. Uh, luckily, my buddy was on the well my now friend who's on the receiving <laughs> end but even in that moment I think he understood that it wasn't on purpose I'm fairly sure I think he, as far as I'm aware he's been a fairly big uh, booster of mine and I know that because he's told me <laughs> as well he like I said I mentioned I know we talked about him earlier but I, I like him a lot he was he's helped me out I'm sure even more than I realize. Uh, at different places, but he's he's always been he's one of my guys since I so, once I got to know him. Turns out I didn't hate him after all. He's definitely a very supportive guy. Like I said, I'm no Absolutely. I'm nobody to him. So the fact that he's gone out of his way to be as helpful with me as he has, and you know, yeah. it's very cool. Yes, hey, you know, like all of us, he mellowed. We all mellow as we get older too. I think he, even he's he mentioned that if I'm not mistaken, he grew up. We all grow up. Oh, he can still get hot about things. Don't get me wrong, but uh, he's a passionate yeah. guy. You know when he's yes, very much so, and that's a good thing. 